If you love farming for new weapons and armor sets in Elden Ring, you probably also already had some frustrations if they don't drop at all. Well, my friends, you've come to the right place, because in this short guide, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to increase your odds of item drops in the wild when you take down enemies, find weapons and armor a lot more frequently, so let's get right to it. Okay, so the item which we're talking about is the Silver Pickled Foul Foot. You've probably already found one or two during your adventures, but basically they temporarily boost item discovery. This means that every time when you take down an enemy while it's active, you have a higher chance of finding an item. This can be the weapon which they're wearing or a piece of armor, in general making it so much easier to farm for those weapons and armor, making it so much easier to get your hands on a certain item. As already mentioned earlier, you can find these during your adventures, but they are pretty rare. Near Stormville Castle, you can also find a merchant called Gatekeeper Gostrock. This guy sells you silver pickled foul foods for 2000 runes each, but only a total of 3, so they are pretty limited. Simply put, the best way to get your hands on these bad boys is to actually craft them yourself. So what you're gonna do is travel to the Church of LA. At the very beginning of the game, you're gonna talk with Merchant Kale right here and purchase the crafting kit. You're also gonna need the crafting cookbooks and then you can unlock the silver pickled foul food as crafting recipe. To craft one of those, you're gonna need one row of fruit, one four toed foul food and also a silver firefly. All these ingredients can be found in the starting area around Church of LA, so they are very easy to get your hands on. Alright, so let's start off with the Roa fruit. They can actually be found around the Church of LA, so basically what you're gonna do is hop on Torrent and search for these little plants. So they are green plants with red flowers actually. You're gonna pick them up one after the other. They are abundant in this forest. You can get your hands on so many of them. Next up, we also have the fireflies. And for this one, you actually want to travel to the cave, which can be found a little bit north from Church of LA, which is called the Grove Side Cave. This is pretty much the ultimate hotspot to get your hands on all the silver fireflies you will ever need. You can basically just run to the place, pick up every single one of them, kill all the wolves, and then use a quick travel of the Grove Side Cave. All the fireflies will respawn. You're going to rinse and repeat and get your hands on those bad boys in no time. So I currently have 73 Roa Fruits and 54 Silver Fireflies, so I think it is time to get our hands on the Four Toed Foul Foot, without doubt the most difficult item of the three. For these bad boys, you want to travel back to the Church of LA and stock up on as many arrows as possible. Then you want to hop on turret and we're gonna do some bird hunting. Basically, along the ridges, you can find them pretty easily. I think the auto target is gonna be the most easy way to take them down, let's say. And every single time when you kill them, of course, they have a chance of dropping feathers, but also the four-toed foul foot. You will usually encounter eagles on these ridges, and they're usually packed in two, which is not very interesting if you want to do this farm for a pretty long time. So what you're going to do is travel to the west coast of Limgrave. Alright, so here we are. Beautiful view, by the way, but uh, we're currently standing very close to the place where you can also find the merchant. If you don't have a bow just yet, this is the place where you can actually pick one up. But basically, what you're gonna do right here is let yourself drop down on this platform. On this ridge, you will find penguin kind of birds and you want to make sure that you take them down as quick as possible because they will slowly start flying off if you wait for too long. Just take them out one by one with your auto aim until they drop one of those four toed foul foots and then you can craft yourself one of those silver pickled foul foots. You can find the merchant exactly right here, which also sells arrows, which is really nice to restock. But you can also purchase the short bow right here, which is perfect for penguin hunting. Anyways, we just crafted the item which increases the odds of finding more items. So basically what you want to do is travel to the next area where you can find many of these bad boys to make this farm even more efficient. A little bit more north of the beach, you can find even more of these penguins. And as long as your item is active, you should take down as many of them as possible. You're just going to keep doing this until you think you got your hands on enough of those silver pickled foul foot, and then you're going to use those to increase your chances of finding items at of course a location where you want to farm for new weapons and armor. Before you start farming, you should always eat one of these to increase your chances of finding items. This time, I wanted to farm for the clean rot armor set, so I traveled to the Ionia Swamp Shore, and every time after defeating my enemy, I had to reset the map by using the quick travel once again. 
It took me about 11 kills to get my hands on the full armor set except for the helmet because I found it earlier. I also found two times the clean rod knife sword which is pretty nice. Alright my friends, that is everything you need to know to get your hands on those weapons and armor sets as quick as possible. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit that like button, helps me out big time. And of course, if you're new here, don't hesitate to subscribe because there is a lot more coming your way. Right now it's 4am out, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace.